integrate here? How do you respond to that? Should you demand more? Should then mark the about uh, the perpetrator himself? I won't go into to detail. We don't have all the details uh, yet. But this is a young man of uh, 22. He's a Danish citizen, uh, born in Denmark. Uh, he was known by the police for several uh, criminal acts, uh, including uh, severe uh, violence. Um, and he was also known to be linked to a criminal gang in, in Copenhagen. Um, but I want to also say, uh, make very clear that we have no indication uh, at this stage that he was part of a, a cell uh, or uh, that, that took him to what, where he was now. The vision ORF. Uh, Madam Prime Minister, how do you respond to Prime Minister Netanyahu's call? I spoke to uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday, um, and he uh, was very clear uh, to send his regards and warm thoughts uh, to the whole Danish uh, people, and also, of course, to the Jewish uh, community in Denmark. We didn't speak about that, um, but I want to make very clear that uh, the Jewish community have been in this country for centuries. They belong in Denmark. They are part of the Danish community. And we wouldn't be the same without the Jewish community uh, in Denmark. Uh, has claimed that in the last two and a half years, 39 people have developed uh, what he calls... That this is not a conflict between <coughs> Islam and the West. Uh, in our uh, fight against uh, ISIL, we are fighting together also with uh, countries from uh, the region to combat ISIL, and we will continue uh, to do that. Uh, there's, that is also for, uh, part of our uh, fight against uh, terrorism. This is not a conflict between Islam and the West. This is not a conflict between Muslims and non-Muslims. This is a conflict between the core values of our society and violent extremists. Collectively and united, we will remain who we are. As one light in the dark, we are once again seen and felt that we are not alone in this struggle. Peter Fritz, Austrian Television, ORF. Uh, Madam Prime Minister. The Jewish community have been in this country for centuries. They belong in Denmark. They are part of the Danish community. And we wouldn't be the same without the Jewish community uh, in Denmark. So everyone can do what they want, but that is my message to the Jewish uh, community, and they know how I feel about that. Thank you very much. Um. Det, det seneste og mest nye efterforskning, det er, at vi kan nu øh, fortælle, hvorfor vi var på internet, internetcaféen ude på Nørrebrogade i går og, og rensagde. Øh, vores efterforskning øh, har vist, at det var sandsynligt, øh, at vores gerningsmand havde været derude forbi på sin færden. Og det er vi nu ret sikre på, at han har været øh, lørdag aften. If, if you ask me, uh, should you have uh, uh, made a larger security arrangement, uh, then it's easy to say yes. Uh, but, you know, at that point, it, 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 I'm, I'm a lame, I'm not a security expert. At that point, it, it, it seemed uh, reasonable with uh, so much police uh, around uh, the city. We appreciate uh, Mr. Netanyahu's concern for Danish and European Jewry, but uh, I don't expect uh, Danish Jewry to leave uh, for Israel uh, be because of reasons of uh, security. Uh, we are Danish uh, citizens, we want to live in Denmark, but uh, since we're Jewish, there seems to be a security issue that we have to, to take care of, or more, uh, to be more precise, the authorities has to take care of.
I was born and raised in Copenhagen, the city and the country of freedom. So uh, it breaks my heart what has happened here <laughs> the last few days. So therefore I have to be here to yeah, just take a moment to think about uh, a new world, a new Copenhagen, a new Denmark. The family came uh, to see the place. They heard from the other guards who were at the same evening exactly what uh, happened. They came to, to see the other people, to meet them, to give a hug. They came to give thanks and to get thanks. Um, they were extremely shocked to see how many people came. You know, the flowers, and it really overwhelmed them. Uh, it's a difficult time for them and for everyone.